episode 93 done done we um advocate quite highly for apple once again yeah i mean it was more you pushing it than you. that's true that's true because i'm a big uh, apple fan but you you brought me into the apple game so right yeah um we look at the comfortability of uh, our convenient tech yeah convenience and um we look at psychological trends found within human beings and future products and future products so have a listen um and do what you do yeah enjoy here we go boom and we are back from another episode of scrag gamers this is your weekly roundup we talk about four things that we thought were cool from the week and we dissect them in a socratic method while fish plays video games yeah Hence the name Socratic Gamers. You like that intro? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've been I've been working on that over the years. It's been like honing itself down, but uh, here we are. Okay, so before we get into the four topics, I just thought this was really cool. It's not going to be a um, it's not going to be like a topic on its own, but I heard in a podcast. So, you know when um, you know how it's like nature versus nurture, and people are like, oh, it's both. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what they're actually finding is that. Uh, your environment that you're in when you're pregnant affects the genetic makeup of the baby. Okay. So, like, nature, like the nature you're yeah. born with, is nurture. Mm-hmm. So it's like they are one and the same. I actually, I guess you can kind of argue that nurture is more dominant than nature then because the environment shaped the genetic. Right. It's like the chicken and the egg. What came first? Right. Yeah. We'll see. Is it or not yet? Yeah, I mean, you know. No, it's scienti- being... sci- no, no, scientific study. This is recent. No, 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 I know, but yeah. it doesn't mean it's... Uh, uh, like, well, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me explain just in case you're, like, okay. you're like thinking about something. Um, so, basically, if the mom fights with the dad while she's pregnant, she'll release cortisol. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which will affect the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. That's what I meant. Okay. So, it's like nature is dictated upon nurture mm-hmm. so how how the mom is being treated like chemically of course of course yeah no, I, yeah exactly course, but yeah. it answers the question of like nature versus nurture but they just found this out like scientifically right see what i'm saying like yeah yeah i think that was the we thought that was possible well, yeah we it, thought that it, was it made happening. the most sense but there was no like research to back it up right you know okay. so that's fascinating anyways so four topics from the week that was not one of them i just thought it was really cool because i heard in a podcast so i want to throw that out there okay i was gonna throw it out there before the podcast but i was like hey other people might want to know this too maybe yeah maybe <laughs> uh so anyways so vish you're gonna go first go ahead okay uh well we talked about this a while ago mm-hmm. uh, about playstation Oh, perfect. Okay, my next topic is going to merge really well into this. So there was an interview on The Wired okay. with the Mark Cerny guy. Mark Cerny guy was the one who helped make the PlayStation 4. Okay. And it, being, and it was hugely successful, so Sony rehired him for helping him, helping uh, design the PlayStation 5. Nice. When's the PlayStation 5 coming out? So, no re- so talking about release date all they said was it's not coming out in 2019 oh that's cold that's all they all said right. true about the release date uh but they did give us some other information uh that uh, uh i guess if you're really into games and their you know graphics card and stuff like that i guess mm-hmm. those are so of course nicer graphics okay some uh well i mean that's like a given that's but a you, given right but you know what's weird about the graphics thing it's like there's like an art style now that you're going for like crappier graphics. You know what I'm not saying? Not like no, 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 not crappier, but less realism. So like there was no, a no, huge no. push in the time okay. to go towards like realistic. Like if you look at Final Fantasy Seven, oh sorry, sorry. If you look at Final Fantasy the series, they were trying to make it as real as possible. Yeah. And then now there's this resurgence of like Fortnite, where it's like polygons. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah, j- but, uh, but the sh- yeah, but then there's also at the same time there's other ones too that are yeah pushing the boundaries. Of course, of course. Yeah. I'm yeah. just saying it's like it's interesting that you would think that everything wanted to go. Well, it's not necessarily exactly. It's not always about graphics. It's about me. I think the reason why that Fortnite's successful because of gameplay. Yeah, all right, true. Feel yeah. right. Like I think if, if yeah. gameplay and graphics are there, that's the great thing. But if oh, if, Apex Legends, you mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> low plug, low plug, Apex, Apex. 
Anyways, anyway, so uh, so graphics is a, I guess, is a, of course, a thing that's going to be improved. Um, uh, they're using some, again, if you're really into this AMD Ryzen line. I have no idea what these things are. Okay, cool, cool. I'm sure you'll find out what they are and explain <laughs> them. Uh, so of course, like that's the that's that's the one thing that's going to be for sure. The part of the fundamental change, and then uh, of course, as we know, <laughs> faster processor and so uh, uh, something that we're saying was more like it's using the combination of gpu and cpu this is again if you know what these things What's are the gpu the graphics processor and a cpu oh, okay, is yeah. A, yeah so using i think it's using like a combining of both uh to make it speedier that's cool meaning loading screens even right now it still feels long but potentially could be faster hmm right uh and then, so with that graphics card, so we talk about 1080p for these ones, and mm -hmm. we can't even, sometimes we can't even reach with today's graphics cards what we want or what, what they thought that they could get to with the PS4, which was uh, the 1080p with 60 frames per second. Okay. Right? But th you can do that, I think, now with the Pro version. Anyway, so this one is now capable of doing 8K I've never even graphics. heard of 8K Exactly. Before. So, there's, you know, have you heard of 4K? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so much, much bigger than that. So, like, just more pixels? Uh, yeah, like a, you can have it on a huge size screen. Yeah. You know what's crazy to think about? Like, pixels are essentially like atoms. Mm -hmm. You know, and like when we're seeing something, it's made up of millions and millions of pixels, just like millions and millions of atoms. Our brains are just like forming them into what we see. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Like, oh, is there going to be, like, 16K in the future? You know, like, 32K? Like, of holy... Course. Yeah, I mean, that, that's just how... Well, what, what, what realism level do we operate under in human world? I don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. It's like, is it going to beat that? And I, will we even be able to tell? Well, I don't know if it, it'll like be... Like, hyper-realism. Yeah, I don't know how if they could beat that, because we would have to see yeah, <laughs> more yeah. than what they show. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. So it's impossible. So, so yeah. <laughs> so that so basically, the uh, the maximum point that we're trying to achieve with graphics and visuals is like human realism, mm -hmm. but we don't actually know what the K level is for that. Because right. we thought it was four K, and then all of a sudden eight K came out. So it's like, okay, what? What level of K do we see at? But even even with that, like the 4K isn't yet normal, like standard. I mean. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. So we we still haven't reached it. I as a I personally don't like um, high res stuff because, like we were talking about with movies, uh, when I watch the IMAX, I can tell they're wearing costumes. I don't like that. Right. Yeah. So. I prefer high res. Yeah. <laughs> I think that no the, the thing with that is it's not it's it's with that or with with the frames per second. I think that's what for movies I think it's 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 difficult to play with the like I think the graphics wise is fine it's just how how many frames you're seeing at the same time that's how like the smoothness of the screen is. Yeah. The I movement like kind of tells you if it's fake or not. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think there's many movies that do higher than 30 frames I don't. Yeah. Most movies are 30 frames. Hmm. Uh, but games sometimes need to be higher because, uh, especially when you're playing competitive, right, 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 right. you need yeah. it at like at such a high level. Like people, when they play, even when they play Fortnite or when they play Apex, they're going above 120 if that if that screen can handle it, yeah, and the graphics can handle it. 120 That's crazy, frames per yeah. second, yeah. You need it that fast, yeah. People need to chill yeah. out. You'll 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 if because I recognize I do see a little difference from what uh, my screen is and what you'd see on a TV. Right. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Right. So you would easily tell, I think. I haven't I haven't experienced that yet, the 120 frames. So hmm. that's what I need to get a new screen for. Yeah, invest. So with that graphics, it's like now it's also they using this word called ray tracing. Okay. Which just means um, better lighting and how they use the lighting oh, like light to make rays. it yeah. 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 That's cool. To make it look, you know, hyper real. Yeah. Make it look amazing. And then this uh, which was kind of cool, which is good. If you have PlayStation Four games, you can also use them on PlayStation Five. Oh, that's good. I hate the backwards compatibility, yeah. and I hated that when they took that away from uh, Xbox. Well, it, you can't use it with PS Three and PS Four, so. Yeah, there you go. No, you could that. do it with the uh, Xbox though, with this one or the Xbox One. I mean. Oh really? Yeah. So I could play with like three sixty. Yeah, as long as it was compatible, as long as they had made the compatibility or whatever. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
Like you can easily do that. I, I think for most games they've covered it. I don't know for all. That's that's cool. So yeah, that, I think the the backwards compatibility was a big thing, uh, especially because you buy, especially when I buy digital games now, mm-hmm. it's just better. It might might as well which should work on PlayStation. Probably. True. Yeah, for sure. Or they could just patch it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but again, the uh, the reason they couldn't bring in the PS3 was it used totally different types of like technology for oh, graphics see, that see, it see, could see. not. These things cannot communicate with each other. So they're they're making the, when when they made the PS4 they made it more like a PC because PC can, games can play old games right. Mm-hmm. So they made it designed more like a PC so you can have these sort of backward compatibilities. That's I think that's what mm-hmm. they were already thinking about when they made the PS4. That's cool. Yeah. And then, uh, well, it works with the current VR. That's another thing they were saying. So there's no need to upgrade your VR. No, oh, that's also VR. really good. Uh, but I don't know how many people bought that. But, <laughs> but that's also where I guess. Games are going right. Reducing the steps is super important. You don't want to have to make people buy a bunch of stuff. Right. Yeah. Unless yeah. you, unless that's a part of your model, your like business model. Yeah, I just don't think. I think if you want people to to upgrade quicker, I think this is the way you have to do it. Mm-hmm. Or else it'll take a little longer time. Hmm. Uh, and then yeah, I, I, my assumption is since they didn't say it's not coming, it's not coming out in 2019. So my assumption is probably 2020. And the thing I think what's going to happen is like games that they haven't announced uh, for release dates yet, which is Last of Us, Death Stranding, and like Ghost of Tsushima. I think they will be on both platforms. Oh, that's sick! Nice. Yeah. Does it does it not freak you out that we're almost at twenty twenty? It's like we're so into the future right now. <laughs> I remember when, like nineteen ninety, and we we're like, oh, twenty twenty is gonna be crazy. But yeah, I mean, it is pretty crazy. No, honestly, like <laughs> it is pretty crazy. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, um. It's been it's been a while. Which, <laughs> We've been on this one for some which, time. Which uh, which brings me to my top. But yes, are no. you you're yeah. done? All right. So this actually brings me to mind about like how crazy it actually is. So we don't really think about how far we've come technology wise because we're in it, right? Yeah. So it's sort of like the the frog that's like slowly boiling. Okay. Right. Like if you're if you slowly if you put a frog in water and then you slowly turn it up, they won't know that they're the heat's rising, they'll just like acclimate to it and they'll just die. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so after playing Final Fantasy VII and then like realizing that there's like waypoints now and like you didn't have to memorize the story that much, like when I was playing Witcher, like Witcher's arguably the closest to those old school games where it's like you have to mm. think, but still there was like waypoints, right? But Final Fantasy VII, there's no waypoints. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was like, that's ri- so, and, and then so, Touching upon that, but that's um, evolution of games, though, right? Exa- no, no, no. But it's the evolution of everything. So check this yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So I, I also went to the ROM, and then I was like washing my hands, and then like, so there's like an external dryer, and then like Tara was like, "Hey, did you did you try the? Did you see the tap that had the air dryer?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" So I went back in, and I was like, "There's these two pipes on the edges of the the water pipe," and I I thought it was just like a. I was like, oh, that's a weird looking pipe. But what you do is you wash your hands in the center, then you bring them to the side, yeah. and there's an air dryer. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's like a two in one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then another thing was like, um, we were trying to park, but it was raining. And then Tara's like, oh, too bad we just didn't get this app. So I was like, all right, I'll just use some data. I'll get the app for the parking. And I'm like, holy crap, we just kept driving around the city. I just kept like hitting park yeah. on it, and it would just like charge me. The only thing I don't like is it's prepay, so you have to like add money to it. It's kind of annoying. Okay, okay. But like, what? That's like a small issue. But what I'm saying is, I think it'll change getting, eventually. Like that's that's where the Apple Pay comes in. So that, that's what I'm saying, dude. And the, we're slowly moving towards a convenience culture. We didn't even know it. So of like, course, of course. But it's a it's mind blow because like it's like because like if you're like you think about like 1990s, right? Like we were yeah. little kids, and then you're like, oh, I wonder what the future's gonna be like. And then we're here now. And we're like, oh, the future's no no different from what we had in the 90s. And it's like, no, actually, it's way different. You know, like, people were like, oh, I thought I'd see flying cars by now. It's like, dude, you were, like, attaching to the smallest thing. But if you look how far technology has come. Yeah, I mean, 90s, there was no iPhone. And I think the That's iPhone what I'm saying. Like, changed holy crap. That was the thing, a computer in your hand, right? That was the thing yeah. that, that changed everything. It's, it's, the, um, it's the boiling frog thing again. It's like we didn't know that this was happening. Of but course. if you actually take a moment to see how far you've come, yeah. you're like, damn. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> like we are in the future, bro. Well, you know? Yeah, well, yeah. 
Like, if there's, you think of it from their perspective, they, we're still not in the future. We're no, the for now, sure. Right. right, right. Well, all right, yeah, sure, sure, sure. What <laughs> I'm saying is, like, we, we've evolved so much further than we would like to think as a society, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, we forget because we just – we don't think of it like that. We forget the past, right? But we, we, for we, sure. That, but that's why I always make it, like, a practice in myself to, like – that sounds so, like, esoterically hippie. But, like, I always try to remember how far we've come because, like, if you if you – don't remember the past then you're liable to taking things for granted yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying like that, that's how I feel yeah, yeah. so I like I try and like do that consciously try and like do that um, but it's so trippy like I remember the first computer being like a brick and now I have this like thin laptop that's running like two screens mm-hmm. you know and like and like dial up internet was so bad. Like if somebody picked up the phone, game over for your internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, and do you remember um do you remember that old oh, yeah. school game, the um cross country? Uh it was like it was huge back in my elementary school. So it'd be like um The game? Yeah, you'd have to type in commands. I think I think I know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? It'd be yeah. like it'd be like go to the left and then it would like go there and like, okay, pick up this thing. It would be like you'd be writing commands to execute things, mm-hmm. like execute ac- actions. Yeah, yeah. But now we have like this controller that's like, you know, I, I can't wait to see where like VR is gonna take it. Or like, if we, instead of we have controllers, now we have like like sensory gloves. Mm-hmm. You know, wouldn't that be crazy? And it's like, you just point to, you think where you wanna think, go, point to where you wanna go. I working on that or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the hollow, hollow lens. I was showing you the, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah um, like that would be crazy, or like if they like attach you to like a neural setup, mm. like brain waves, and then it's like you, you're not even like moving the character; you are the character. Yeah. You like if you want to move left, you just think you're moving left, and then your character will move left. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think that's so nuts. <laughs> like we we don't realize how much potential there is, mm-hmm. but it, it's almost like we're heading towards that like dystopian future as well, where everyone like if you watch um. That, oh, what's that? that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Total Recall. Yeah, and they're on Mars and stuff, and like mm-hmm. they live in these domes. Yeah. If global warming gets to that point where it's really bad, like we might end up living in domes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like again, technology brought us here. Technology saving us. We're in a dystopian future. We're like not robots, but essentially robots. We are in like our futuristic. Thing, yeah, worlds that we didn't even. We well, of course, yeah. I mean, of course, but like, yeah, but for the it'll be the same for anybody, right? Like even for the kids now, they don't know what we went through, but they'll see a change. Yeah, for sure. I mean, everyone will see a change. Yeah, it's it is inevitable. Yeah, and I like to appreciate that. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was my topic. Oh, well, yeah, talking about future technology. Oh, cool, he got one. Yeah, so Samsung Galaxy Fold. Fold? Yeah, like a fold. Oh, my God. Phone. I saw this this video, Nokia, a long time ago. It was like a wristband that you can, like, it was we a talked phone. About it before, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it that what it is? Well, we're not at that bendable yet. <laughs> we're oh, getting there, I think. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean... There's also problems with it. So my main thing is it they they already announced this so this last year I think and then they are giving out it should be coming out soon to the uh, regular consumer but it's um uh, it was uh, released to the reviewers it was okay. given to the reviewers oh that's cool uh, but then uh, not many days after not all and it's not for all of them uh, there are some of them that started to because it's a first edition started to have problems oh mm, yeah. Uh, like sometimes, you know, uh, most of the time Samsung likes to be first to the market, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Not necessarily having, like, that's the idea of Apple. Apple's not first, but right. Like makes it. Yeah. I get what you're saying. You yeah. know what I mean? So of course there's going to be. That's a great possible like, issues. thought. Like different ways to like run your company and stuff. It's like one's like, oh, let's be first to the market. Yeah. And then the other one's like. Like the, like the, like first. the recent, like the recent thing with Apple's air power. Instead of releasing a bad product, they just canceled it. Like, yeah, it's not exactly. working out. Yeah, and they cool. might as well deal with the ramifications of that than dealing with the bad PR issue. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. I like, I like that. I like that a lot. Right. So anyway, so uh, 
it started to like for some people what happened was uh, the review units they didn't have this information like you know how you have we have a screen protectors on our phone yeah and you can easily remove that yeah so they thought there was a screen protector on it but it was meant to it was that thing was meant to stay on the screen to protect the OLED screen that's on there oh I see. and when they removed it uh, it it just bricked the phone <laughs> oh really yeah huh so that's fascinating a, yeah and then uh it's it's cool that it was uh folding and then the way they're trying to show like it's not going to break for folding they did like 1000 folds or something mm -hmm. like that and then like over usage nothing's going to happen but the way it's built they're in the hinge part at the back uh one one of the reviewers had like a bulge start to happen on the on the screen side so if if dust or something got into it mm -hmm. then it it was able it reached to the top of the screen oh, and, and it made kind of annoying yeah but the thing is the phone is two thousand dollars american okay, that's good sir and that's expensive uh well yeah it's like two phones right but to put together <laughs> okay uh, what i like about foldable phones what i like it's so instead of buying two things so you instead of buying a tablet and a phone you can have a tablet and phone together basically okay Right, so one when you fold it, you have a screen on uh, on the inside, on the on the outside, just mm -hmm. as a normal phone. And then when you open it up, it'll open up like a tablet. Okay, and it'll be like a full. So it's like you're paying the same amount if you do, like if you think of it that way. Yeah, yeah I understand what you're saying. Right, instead yeah. of buying two products, you buy one. But why would you buy two phones? Like, it's no, it's not sense. two phones. No, no, I know, I know. No, no, you're you're. Your uh, comparison, I'm saying, you're like, oh, it's like buying two phones. I'm like, but I wouldn't buy two phones. Uh, I mean, like the no, I mean, like yeah, the how how it's designed, yeah. Yeah, I know, I right. know, yeah, right. yeah. But it's like no, no. What I'm saying is, you're buying like a phone and a tablet yeah, on one thing. It's like that's why we have the um, the iPhone. Well, I mean, six plus. So. Uh, of course, of course, but. Uh, the point is you can have it even bigger. Who likes pluses? The six plus. Like, I think a lot of people. I saw, I saw like. There's a lot of people that have it. Yeah, I was watching like uh, Jaden Smith's icon video or Batman video or something. Yeah. And he had it. And I was like, who who has that? Like, <laughs> a lot of people. Why? It just seems so like that's too brick for me. Uh, you know I what know. What I mean? I, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, not, I'm not feeling that. Sorry, keep going. Just side Actually, note. I don't even think you need to go that big now because now they have the full size screen. That you don't need. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah. Really like that it. seemed more logical to me than yeah. buying a giant phone. Yeah. It's not even a phone anymore. It's like a mini iPad. Yeah. yeah. It's like an iPad mini. Yeah. It's like a mini. mini iPad. It's like a mini mini iPad. <laughs> mini mini iPad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, like for me, what I like, I think that I think it's like I like that it's going in this direction, or at least they're trying something. That's I, I don't mind that. Mm -hmm. But I also just design it right too it's just now you have something to deal with now right, as a company right. oh yeah to fix problems now you got to deal with the prs you know well again it's it's up to them that's if that's what they want to do Wait, right? what, what was it samsung yeah yeah but samsung is kind of <laughs> like that like you know what i mean it's like it's like okay if you want to if you want like a phone that you don't have to worry about get an iphone but if you want to be trendy and hip and like try and like customize your phone go get a samsung that's how I feel. It's like if you want performance, go get an iPhone. But if you want customization, go get your Samsung. <laughs> they would. They would. Uh, they would be. Uh, but like, it's like who you think you are, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know. Uh, and also, they were saying like not all apps because it's Android. Not all apps are even like. Uh, like it, it. It makes sense to me if you're like a software engineer and you're like, hey, check out my amazing phone that's way yeah. better than an iPhone. I'd be like, yeah, true. But you're a software engineer. But if you're just like a regular person. Why would you not get the iPhone? I don't understand it. But everyone was uh, praising it. The iPhone was been what the been, iPhone? No, the the foldable phone. No, but I mean like Samsung in general, like Samsung versus iPhone. Like I don't see, I don't see the purpose of a Samsung. Personally. But that's that's coming from us as iPhone users. Though I mean, if you talk to an iPhone or a Samsung person. Yeah, but like, yeah. explain to me why you you like Samsung better. Like ever, the the biggest thing that I've ever heard because I always ask people like yeah. why do you choose Samsung they're like because I don't like iPhones I'm like why because like they're they're controlling you 
I'm like, man, come on. <laughs> I don't know what that means. They're controlling you. <laughs> yeah, they want you to be a part of your ecosystem. And then if you're a part of the ecosystem, you have to buy every single product. But it's like, yeah, but you're in the ecosystem because it works. Yeah, that's, that's the like, point. We're not, trying to, <laughs> we're not trying to take all of your – we are we are trying to take all your money. But simultaneously, it's of like course, trying yeah. to – by giving you the best service. And the only way to give you the best service is to control it I mean, so this we is, can yeah, address that's, the situation. That's the oldest thing that – this is what I've been looking for, actually, for the longest time. That's why I would always try to buy only Sony products. Okay. Try to get that ecosystem right, that I right, wanted, right? right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But then – they didn't do it that well because they were using other software that wasn't made from them, right? Right, right, right. So um, that's why uh, uh, that's why I went to Apple. I realized that Apple was doing it like exactly what I needed them to do. It's like your Dell, yeah. Like, yeah, that's I tried to do it with Dell. It just didn't work because they yeah. didn't they didn't make the um, they didn't make like the software, right? But that's what I'm saying. It's like I don't understand. I kind of feel like I feel objectively people who choose iPhones are or they don't more objective yeah. than that's funny objectively more objective <laughs> I was gonna say like not dumb but then I was like that's kind of like rude so I went with objective yeah but like <laughs> like I just I but also, I mean, unless you're a software engineer, like I know some people that are like, oh, I really like I create like these custom apps and right, like right, right. my phone is way better than the iPhone solid that makes sense you know like but if you're doing it for a completely like hedonic reason of like i don't want to be a conformist that's not a good enough answer for me but i mean people also live the life they want to live so like yeah you you stay in the but also you know around. i mean most times i think generally what what happens is because it's cheaper Same yeah too. but it's like it's like what uh a uh Oh, what was that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of a cure so it's like yeah it might be cheaper now but then you're gonna be like oh i wish i had that app like yeah you do wish you had that app bro now go buy an iphone you know what i mean like the apple pay and like the well they have it too Samsung the too. apple cash thing that you're saying like right you know, so like that, on, they man. don't there's, have that exactly there's so many benefits to the iphone like come on guys get with it oh uh, yeah i mean <laughs> yeah we are still the minority, though. <laughs> Which I find kind of ridiculous. But <laughs> also, is that, like, minority in Canada or, like, the world? Because no, the like, world. Yeah, so, like, if Asia's buying it, it's because they don't want... Like, if, if you t look at that number, it's, like, where are they coming from? And you have to look at the politics within that region. So, like, China makes up But even the even in, even in China at the time when it started, when they were buying the phones, were mainly because... Yeah, no, but but it's like a status symbol. Actually, it wasn't really anything about the phone. Right, but isn't isn't Samsung Asian? No, but the status symbol of Apple, I'm talking about. Yeah, but also like. Um, and Samsung is Korean, but yeah. yeah, but still Asian. They support your Asian roots. I think they I think they do well in Korea. What Samsung? Yeah, I yeah, think well, well now well now. Um, same thing in China, actually, that people are buying Huawei phones. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. It's like it's nationalistic pride. It has nothing to do with – actually, I, I haven't used a Huawei phone, so like maybe – It's an Android same. phone. Oh, I don't like Androids. They all use the same Android they just They just don't want – I mean, Google Google was brilliant in that aspect. They sold it for free. They, they just don't want Western Europeans to take over the world because <laughs> like Apple, right? Well, so. I mean, Huawei is banned in America. Right? They can't sell it in America. There you go. Is it because of like, breach uh, of privacy? I just read. I just it read. It was just the title of the economics. article. I just read the title of the article. They were saying that the, I think it was CIA saying that China's security company or like their their CIA or whatever put money into making Huawei. So they're like, we can't trust them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but like, dude, there's so much stuff going on that like. Like the whole social media thing, right? Like um, them selling your information to marketers. That's really a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trust me. That's really a thing. No, no, like, of course. I think, I, I think we know that. I think we know that. It's a real thing. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, so if you're cool with that, how come you're not cool with the, you know, the Well, I mean, it's like, the country that's not allowing it to sell. People would buy it. People are buying it. Like it's allowed to be sold here, I believe, Huawei phones. So. Yeah. It's just well, not sold. Like the American, sold American government is the one that's blocking it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, not not the people. It's the American government can, are blocking it from being sold. Yeah, but I wonder if that's like a, it's like an economic reason. I, I think, think so. it's like, 
I don't uh, know. could be, like, could be. Who knows? I don't know. Like the more you delve deep into like the histories of like nations, it's like it's like gang warfare, you know? Yeah. Like you're you're fortifying your zones. You're trying to keep your money. You're trying to like tax people, mm-hmm. which is like like you call it taxing, but it's really like a cut. You know, we get a cut of everything you do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this. So it's like I'm I'm skeptical with everything that I hear in terms of like banning and stuff. Like I like what's the what's the real reason? I'm just wondering. You know? It's just funny that they, that we do that. That America did that with Huawei, but not Samsung. That's what I'm saying. Not, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Not like yeah, Japanese that's, phones. That's what I'm saying. To... <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's just just because we had stronger <laughs> trade deals. Maybe like you know. They, they, yeah, they trust them more than. Well, they have bases in Korea and. Yeah. So Japan, there you go. So it's like but they don't trust. <laughs> like they're painting the picture in terms of security for us, but in reality, it's about like economic reasons which are totally fine like i mean business is business business is business <laughs> you know so like whatever I'm not like harping on you guys or anything no it's just like it's just funny yeah yeah which actually brings me to the next topic okay. about social heuristics okay. so like uh you know what heuristics mean no uh so basically it's like you make your they're like stereotypes you're you're making your decision off of a guess Mm-hmm. of like information that you have from the past okay but so like people are like oh heuristics are bad because it leads to like stereotyping biases whatever whatever mm-hmm. but the reason why we have heuristics is because we can't know full well or accurately what's going to happen in the future so we use all the information we've gathered to make a guess okay right um, and like we just we do that with everything in society mm-hmm. and I find that like mm-hmm. interesting that we're we're a society of it, it sort of it goes back to the Huawei thing it's like if instead of giving you the truth I'm going to present the narrative in a way that will appeal to your heuristics okay yeah you know what I'm saying and like realizing that everything is a heuristic because you can never know the certainty of the future Mm -hmm. then it's like are we not just a gullible species yeah right like you can be you can easily that that's why i like marketing because you can like hijack the human reward system or like the tendencies of what we do as humans and like shape it yeah in a specific way Mm -hmm. yeah and i think you know it's always important to keep that in mind. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but we do with everything. It's like that's why resumes are so important. Think about it. Yeah. Right? It's like oh, I'm gonna yeah. read this thing and I'm going to guess off of this piece of paper that you're gonna be perfect for the job. Right. But you don't know that. No. Until after the fact. And you're like four months in, you're like, dude, this person sucks. Yeah, well that's why they have three months. Probationary? Yeah. But then you also have to go with um, cognitive dissonance, which is like, well, you've been here for three months, you've established relationships, uh, we can't really let you go. We can if you mess up really hard, but then it's like wrongful dismissal clauses. You know what I'm saying? Mm, it happens, I think, actually. I'm just saying, it's like, we are, we are a species of imagination. Mm-hmm. And that's what separates us in the animal kingdom. But also, like, it adds to our suffering as well. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I remember when uh, this one funny story. But, like, it's weird how people don't tap into this, right? So, like, unless you do, like, study in it or, like, introspection, mm. you're – so I was, like – <laughs> so dumb I was like still early in my marketing like studies and then I went to the store I was teaching martial arts and then um, I came back and then um, my my instructor who was like watching over me mm-hmm. my head instructor he was like oh what took you so long and I was like I was trying to figure out what pop defined me as a person and then he's like what are you talking what? about <laughs> yeah oh, exactly and he's like what are you talking about and I'm like 
the pop choice that I've chosen suggests to other people what kind of person I am. Oh, okay. And he's like, no, you're thinking about that okay. way too. And I was like, no, because like Coke kind of suggests like, okay, you're like a team player. You're solid. Like everyone drinks Coke. But if you choose something like um, Mountain Dew Blue Crush, people are like, what? So weird. And you're like, yeah, I'm an outsider. I'm kind of weird. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But so like it sounds crazy. And I know you're like, you're chuckling a bit. No, 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 no. It's true. It's true, right? It's true. So like, and it's he true. was like, all right, you're overthinking this. And I was like, I'm not, but you don't understand, right? And then I recently, not really recently, I guess a year ago, I found out about semiotics. Mm -hmm. So semiotics is like signals that you give to other people in order to express who you are as a person without them having to get to know you. Heuristics. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like I, I was tattooed now and like people are like, oh, he must be X, Y, Z. Or like, oh, I'm wearing hoodies. He must be X, Y, Z. That's also kind of the reason why I hated going to business school and wearing like suits. Because mm -hmm. it was like, you're just judging me off the merit of my suit. I prefer, I think it's more funny if I'm the smartest person in the room, but I'm wearing like a hoodie. Right. You know, because it's like, it's like a juxtaposition and like mind fucks people. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that about like oh, yeah, yeah, of society. Yeah. It makes you like second guess. But it's weird how like, I've been doing that for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now, like, looking at the position I am or, like, whatever, and, like, I'm still doing it. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's just it's just hijacking perception. Yeah. You know? And we do that all the time. Like, companies do it all the time. Like, the uh, the credit card. Mm -hmm. the, remember? I was, like, there's the Canadian tire credit card that I had, and I was, like, oh, it's so ugly. I don't want to use this. But then they sent, like, oh, new rebranding. We're calling it the Triangle now. And they sent me the credit card. It looks so awesome. <laughs> the rewards are the same. Everything about it's the same. And I'm like, I'm going to use this credit card more. <laughs> Simply because it looks badass compared to my other credit cards. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Again, heuristics. Yeah. We're like, uh, I guess you could say that's that's, like, voting. That's, like, everything. That's why Trump is so popular, you know? Well, there's different reasons, but yeah. No, but he's he's hijacking perception. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like um. Yeah. What was that one that he posted? I, mean, I was he, like, that's pretty genius. He came at the right time, though. I think. I mean, in the sense of people wanted something different and not the establishment anymore. Yeah. So he, he was he, the, he's biding his time now because he ran for presidency before, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's biding. His, he's like, now's the time to strike. Yeah. He's like uh, the snake with a long memory in the 48 Laws of Power. <laughs> you know, okay. never forget. But yeah, fascinating. Yeah. So I guess my final thought would be understand that you're being controlled by your perceptions and then be open to the possibility of change. Okay, yeah. Because if you, if you don't realize oh, that yeah. you're being controlled by your perceptions, then you think you're correct. Yeah, so yeah, then yeah. you won't change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if it's like, oh, this could be a subjective bias mm -hmm. that I'm viewing right now, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Final thoughts? No, don't believe what you see. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's why it's important not to buy that foldable phone. Because I don't it, think people because it looks <laughs> it looks super futuristic and high tech. But don't believe everything you well, see. Well, for me, as an Apple guy, there's a lot of design flaws that I see. For sure. The tech-wise is cool. But, but see, that's why I like – I think that's why we like – I think that's why we like Apple because it's so objective. Mm. You know, it's like there's no – like I'll admit when I first bought my, my Mac, I was like, oh, this just means I'm artsy, you know, because it's got like editing capabilities. But like after using it, it's like, no, no, it's just the better system. Right. You know? Yeah. 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 Objectivity. Depends is on what you're using it for, I guess. Everybody yeah, again, like if you're a software engineer, it's like, no, don't get the Mac because then you can't, you can't like tweak it. I mean, it depends on. What no, level but like, what, what can you, what can you tweak on the Mac? No, I mean, it's like it's all code, right? No, no, no. But I mean, like, you can't um, add in new processors after the fact. You can't open it up and then. Uh, it. Well, not, not not for Max, but for uh, they might be bringing out one for the one they had before for the CPU one. Oh, okay. Which was possibly upgrade like was great upgradable before. 
Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. So they might be bringing. There's, I think they're working on that one to release one for the pro versions. Oh, that's cool. Because I was looking at it for my um, for a, for making it upgrade, like yeah, upgradable. I was, I was looking for my uh, MacBook Pro because I was like, oh, I wish I could like upgrade a bit more. Yeah, they used to have like, one, but that's know. like not for laptops though. Just can't do it for laptops. But but for, see, that, that's like, why I had to buy the the most expensive one because I'm like, I need everything because I know that. You know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't change it after the fact, so we might as well get the best one, mm. you know. But that could just be psychological, too. Maybe they're trying to do that for that reason. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't edit it after, and if you rely on this as a tool, it's like, well, we'll force people to not upgrade later. I don't know. Well, I mean, That's most some crazy. Uh, no, 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 but I mean, but most of their consumers are not like that, though. Editors? Yeah. Yeah, true. No, no. Yeah. Like most of the consumers are just normal people. Honestly, I don't care if, about that. If I didn't do the stuff that I did, I would just buy an iPad. I don't see any reason for a laptop if if I wasn't doing what I do. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. If you're not running a business or something or like. So that's what I'm saying. Like uh, they're not selling necessarily. They're just these products or they're, I don't know how they design. Yeah. <laughs> the pricing process, but yeah. But yeah. that's just Apple. So go Apple. Go Apple. Yeah. All right. Until next week. Uh, no movies coming out. Oh, uh, well, Avengers there play. is a movie, but <laughs> we, we won't be able to watch it. Yeah. So on that weekend, we'll do that movie review the following week, I guess. The following week. So stay tuned for that. I hear it's three hours, and that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, how much? How long was the one in Infinity War? I don't know. That was long. It was like now. two and a half. Seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You gotta watch it together. Yeah, I say it totally. Oh man, that would be. That would be really cool to watch, like, when, when this is done, to do, like, a whole Marvel thing and watch all of the series to, like, see I think it was, like, 12 movies or something like that. That's crazy. I'll I do mean, it when they... Like, I'll, too nerdy I'll do me. it on uh, Disney+. Plus. Oh, shout-outs to Disney+, Plus coming out soon. Yeah. All right. Until cool. next week. Take it easy. Peace. Bye.